to the second episode in a week. We've done this a couple times. You're listening to Nordcam uh, weekly. This is um, we're recording on July uh, 10th, 2015. And my name is um, Phil Healy. I'm the public access coordinator for Norcam uh, Public Access. And with me, as always, is I'm Jason Smith, the government access coordinator. Hello, Jason. How you doing? Pretty good this day. Doing all right today. Yeah. It's not as well. It wasn't a short week. No, it was for you. It was re- regular yeah, week. You were, took off Monday and took off Monday. Yeah. yeah. Came in Tuesday, and we did um, a podcast with Mel. Yep. Mel uh, Webster from the school committee. Uh, school committee uh, meetings, which the next one won't happen until the end of the month, I think, 27th? the 27th? I think so. I think you're right. Yeah. I think the 27th. We're having a Board of Selectmen meeting this Monday, this Monday. we'll be covering. Yep. Uh, but we won't be hauling our uh, gigantor <laughs> into, um, uh, what was it, the lear- distance learning lab until uh, July 27th. But yeah, Jason, uh, so the week has been all right. Yep. Uh, we didn't really get much uh, NORCAM-ish business. We got a good amount yeah. like out there through through Mel as our conduit, but mm-hmm. we didn't really, we, there was a shutdown week last week and yep. you know went through everything there. And uh, you also uh, grabbed some stuff <laughs> from the school. <laughs> Which is awesome. Yeah. Anything we can save, especially like uh, video nerds like us, I love. Yeah. So we grabbed like a video projector. That's yeah, it's fairly old. I'm guessing it's from like '98 or something. Yeah, like that. it's not that. It's got that feel. It does. To it. It's an analog uh, projector, but it's still good and still powerful. Oh, yeah. uh, you can definitely hook up old. Uh, also, if you're a video game fanatic and if you like hooking up old video games and stuff, you can yeah. h- hook it up to that. I've done that at parties, and they're <laughs> real cool parties. Uh, no, I've I've been to uh, nerdy bachelor parties where we just get a projector and just right. play all. <laughs> yeah, play uh, ROMs all day. Nice. <sighs> <laughs> Every last one of us, but um, yeah, no, a lot of great finds, and even this week we've had uh, Lee Atlas, one of our oh, yeah. uh, uh, rising stars here, a, g- a good dude who's been uh, cutting and taking out cameras uh, and working on stuff. It's been good to to learn him <laughs> some uh, some maneuvers, and uh, yeah, who else we have come down this week? Uh, we had the tour. Oh, that's yesterday, right. Which is yeah. Was go ahead. Fun. Go ahead. Yeah. It was the youth service move? Uh, group again yeah youth services proper not the um the library yeah. run by daniel masterson <laughs> this one is run by amy Lockowitz. yeah it's an always fun way to break up our day especially you know we get fresh minds in here and show in the studio break down like the cameras and stuff like that so yeah no it, it's it's always great to show um show people uh, what we do we actually almost always get more questions from uh the parents <laughs> than the actual kids <laughs> But the kids, you know, whether they're intimidated or just don't care, yeah. I mean, uh, they get to a point where they enjoy it, and they're like, oh, hey, cool, let's mm-hmm. take a look. And we have a PSA. We ha- we usually have uh, the group do a PSA or some yeah. form of video, and we have that on our YouTube page, and I think it will be going up this week on uh, our channel proper. Okay. But, uh, yeah, so you can check that out on the NORCAM 1, which, as Mel brought up last, or oh, well, on Tuesday, actually, not last week, but last episode, uh, we still have a whole, we have a whole bunch of uh, stuff up there, and... Yep. What was it the uh, graduation will be up there in the next week? Yep. it's done. It's we're just we just got to upload it. And uh, Rob, our executive director, act- is actually working on something pretty nice. It's like the last fifteen years of graduations. Yep. He's putting together like a whole compilation. We've been seeing him run around mm-hmm. <laughs> looking for <laughs> old, old copies yeah. and discs, and you know tweaking them up, fixing the contrast on them so you can see some of the footage <laughs> yeah some of the people just didn't care back in the day or they just were like all right turn the camera on yeah. i'll see you later uh in true public access fashion but uh no we have a we have a lot of great uh last handful of years has been a uh, decent production yeah. of it and um, you'll see the evolution pretty pretty <laughs> clearly and it's been pretty nice yeah. and uh yeah it's kind of cool like mel put it last week and we've been we've talked about it on this podcast it's it's fun to look back yeah. And uh, check out some of that stuff. But you actually had, um, oh yeah, I think it's the yeah. phone. Although yeah. it is the phone. The phone is always uh, weird. I don't want to believe it. Push it off to but the side. <laughs> your phones are making you sick, people. Uh, no, there's always interference from it. Is it going again? Could you get another text? No. And <laughs> just throw it out the window. Um, but yeah, you actually. Uh, we brought this up before, I believe. But you actually found a graduation where, because you have older siblings, yeah, right? Yeah, I. It, my brother's wife, so my sister-in-law, uh, lived in North Reading years ago, and we had like a bunch of years up on the YouTube channel already. And I was like, "Oh, what happened to 2002?" 
didn't know, didn't ha- couldn't figure it out. And then I think it was like two summers ago, we were looking through the um, the storage unit, and there yeah. was a box of tapes, and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> and there it was, and yeah. transferred it, and made a copy for them, and threw it up online. I don't know. Yeah, no, it's um, it's kind of great. It's always, we're always finding these nuggets, whether it be the third Max Headroom incident, yep. which one of the tour group uh, kids was familiar with, yeah. and he was like, "Oh my god!" And he almost, he kind of almost defiled himself a bit. Like we're like, yeah, "Take it, you know, if you need to go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom." And he's like, "Well, he was fearful. He was a good kid, but he he, he left abruptly, though." Yeah, he kind of he said, "I have no control over my lordy eyes when I see that." I'm like, "Whoa, hey man, do what you got to do." Uh, but yeah, no, we you always find gems, mm-hmm. and uh, that amongst them. But what we found, um. Like weird, uh, we, were, I was, we were talking about this, or actually I was, because I, I, I saw one of the older, um, uh, well, she, she currently is the executive director, I apologize for my stammering, uh, she's currently the executive director of um, Methuen Public Access, Karen Hayden, but she was, I believe, in Reading for a while, and um, we saw, t- and I spoke to her recently, I said, oh, hey, we found a tape of you and another uh, access coordinator talking about just basic like yeah, camera movement. It was like yeah. something from the late '80s, early yeah. '90s, and we were laughing about that because it was just. She was like, "Oh yeah, my hair was a lot bigger <laughs> then." I'm like, "Oh yeah." Uh, so it's kind of cool what you'll find and uh, what you can throw out there, and it's and a, oh, that's go ahead, yeah. the thing that I'd love to improve upon. Like, unfortunately, like our archive is kind of limited to whatever was like left on a shelf or something like that when Rob took over. And nothing uh, he can do about yeah, that. Nothing yeah, nothing we can do, and it's like we've kind of exhausted every. Uh, resource we've had to like find old archives and stuff like that. Well, you know, hey, this is a great challenge. Maybe we should just put it out there because uh, we've been saying this the past couple uh, podcasts. We're looking to get to five thousand videos by the end of the uh, end of the year, end of two thousand fifteen. Yeah. If you have anything, even if you have anything from family or just something within Reading, like old sure. old uh, movies, uh, be it on VHS or on like Super Eight, like we class play or something yeah. like that. Something that. Isn't on our channel already? Like, mm-hmm. we'd love to throw up the. Yeah, anything you got, man. Uh, we'd love to put it in there as part of almost like our uh, YouTube slash uh, public access time capsule. Yeah. And I, I think that'd be really cool. Maybe we should. Oh, we'll put out. We'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do. If, if people listening, all eight of you, if any <laughs> of you uh, want to let p- other people know, if you have anything, bring them in. We'll take a look. It's also fun to take a look at and see what we can we can do. You know. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you know, there's a, there's a lot of fun things, but yeah, we're limited by, as you said, whatever was here. Yeah. Which, you know, I, sometimes you, you miss, we miss something. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, yeah, but that's, uh, so that'll, this year's graduation will go up mm-hmm. and we'll have it on YouTube and we'll have DVDs. If you want to come pick them up, uh, just let us know. Give us a call at 978-664-0501. And you can always email uh, us at our respected places or go to our Facebook page mm-hmm. and we'll give you our email at the top of or at the end of the uh, podcast. <laughs> uh, we forgot last time because I think we were, it was our longest episode and yeah. I think we were just kind of getting out of there. <laughs> like we're wrapping it up uh, as we were doing at the end of land. But uh, yeah. So we, yeah, we had that tour. It was good. The tour's nice. And uh, we had, uh, Lee came in. Uh, not a lot of people this week. We didn't have a North Carolina Video no. Production Club because most of them are on vacation. Yeah. But uh, they've been uh, adding to the comment section of our videos as well online, and, and they're a really big part of that, so it's fun. Can't wait to get them back and actually show them some movies. Are there any movies you would recommend for a summer, hmm. you would think? I'd have to think about it. Yeah. I'm thinking one crazy summer I could show oh, them. that's always fun. Yeah. It's Better always off dead. Better, yeah, S- Savage Steve favorite. Holland. Yeah, it's I'm a fan. Favorite, yeah. And uh, there was, he also did another movie. He did a couple others. He did Eat the Cat, okay. and uh, which was a cartoon. I don't know if you remember Eat the Cat at all. Too much. But it was on Fox, I believe. It was literally a, a cat called Eek the Cat. <laughs> we had kind of a lisp like myself. Um, and a giant um, pink female cat who was like 800 pounds, who he, l- he lusted after. Or I shouldn't say that. He more loved. A lust would be fair for a children's cartoon. would be too much. And how could you really display that? But, um, yeah, there was that. Uh, and he also did... No, we were just getting into what these directors have done. How I Got Into College was another one. Okay. You might have you might have seen it. Isn't it, it? it? It's probably a movie that like if I started watching it, I would recognize yeah. as opposed to like the title. Like I don't have any idea. What and he is. doesn't have the usual cast of characters that he did in Better Off Dead and okay. um, One Crazy Summer because that, that he kind of repeats uh, his uh, his cast a bit, which was pretty good. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, we uh, I try to show the kids. Well, we, yeah, because you forget what you threw at me one of the days, like one of the movies. You were like, oh, uh, they should watch that. I know we was an American horror uh, uh, horror movie. The movie where the guys making the horror movie. Oh, 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 is oh, Amer- oh. Is, Amer- is it American horror? Yeah, American movie. American, American movie. movie, yeah, which is great. One of my favorite dogs. Yeah. yeah, but they saw American movie, and they really dug it. And I, I recommend, I, both of us recommend yeah. it to anyone out there. But they really love that. Uh, and that was actually during the winter, I think, we showed yeah. it, or like in spring. I like to show them stuff during the year, but also during, but m- concentrate more on production stuff and teaching them all so, um, sorts of stuff they could possibly use in their real life, who knows. Yeah. But for production-wise, uh, they can use for... Um, for the club, which, uh, you know, brings us, we're actually coming up, we are looking to host a uh, summer camp, yeah. kind of a makeshift summer camp, uh, August 10th through, I believe, uh, what was it, that, the 13th, no, the 15th, yeah, 15th. you're right. Okay. So it's like uh, Monday the 10th, Tuesday the 11th, Wednesday uh, the 12th. Oh, so I think it would be the 14th then. Okay. So Thursday the 13th, and uh, I think that Friday the 14th. Nice. Yeah. So uh, we're looking to uh, do a summer camp. Mm-hmm. Uh, nothing too intensive, just kind of like... An intro, kind of, yeah. you know, you walk out with something, you know, to watch going forward. Um, I think we we're, I have some notes here. Yeah, we were jotting I, down. I, I some notes. Uh, but yeah, it was like we, we would, the first day, we would uh, teach them how to use the camera, send them outside or in here, and depend on, depending on how many kids we have, like yeah. two groups, like... We want you to shoot something and edit it in camera. And what that means is you don't you edit as you shoot. So say like, okay, we want to have a story of a guy coming to a house and finding out his fish is now a human being. So it's just kind of like, yeah. oh, you shoot it, you know, in um, in order, and then you cut it. You shoot it and cut it how you want it to be, how you want it to be done. And I recommend usually like that's a lot more. Uh, what's the term I'm looking for? A lot more practice or uh, dry runs and don't actually have the camera on. Yep. Because if you're not going to edit it on a computer, you know. But it, it teaches a lot of basic, like, storytelling with the camera, yeah. being patient, and, uh, you know, how to how to construct it, Focus. put it together. Yeah. yeah. I kind of bring that out. And then, like, the second day, uh, just go into the studio, review everything we learned about the camera, learn some more stuff about audio and some yeah. lights, bring them into the studio, have them do a studio shoot, and then go from there. Uh, then that went, and we rev- every day we'll review everything they did and kind of give them like our notes and what we're thinking. And you know, what did you guys learn? What do you want to learn? Stop touching that. <laughs> uh, I don't get out of here, you brat. And then just move on to the next day. So Wednesday would be kind of. Uh, Go over every always review when you first get in, and then give them an hour to write something, and I'll be like, "Hey, you guys have to do a video two or a video of the day today, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Yep. So you have this amount of time to do it, and we can go over some more camera stuff, and we'll review some stuff every day. But you got to do it, and uh, we'll be here to help you out. So yeah, and they can stay as long as they want. It's usually like four hours in the yep. day, and this and this might subject subject to change. So we're just throwing it out there as a as a thing. And if anyone has any ideas or wants to yeah, yeah. wants to chat about it, I think it would be a fun time. But, yeah. And who knows? Who knows who will sign up? But, uh, yeah, any, uh, I don't think anything else really is going on this week. Yeah. We've been just kind of hanging around, uh, talking to people. I've been back in, getting back in my groove, shooting out emails. Yeah. And Reaching out to maybe future podcast guests and stuff like that. Yeah. So. And hopefully, like uh, we were talking about on the last episode on Tuesday, Getting some spinners games yeah, as soon as that so rolls around. Season, I believe, is underway, and I think they just got back to the the stadium in Lowell. So, oh, so time to grill them. Yeah. <laughs> time to grill them. And there should be um, some more. Um, I think that uh, there's a film called The Black Brigade, which is like an all black, like I think World War Two, mm-hmm. or it could be Korean. I think it's World War Two film, but it's ba- uh, like made in the seventies, I think, or maybe a little earlier. And it's, uh, it looks like a lot of fun. Another public domain movie. And uh, during the month, I'm going to play a lot of war movies and, you know, uh, celebration of war. Or just <laughs> tried to do it for July 4th thing, but that didn't happen. Yeah. So I'm just kind of panning and uh, just kind of littering them all over the month. But anything else uh, Nothing content-wise? Um, probably next week, I'll, I'll probably see a couple more government meetings go up. Obviously, the selectmen on Mondays. Okay. Uh, I think there just was posted a new RMLD meeting, so I'll get that up. Let's say it's summer slow, especially for meetings. You yeah. know, every everybody kind of, I think, 
over the three months, I think this is, they compress them into like one meeting. So yeah, that's true. They you shorten it up. They usually have like one or they usually have one or two a month, but yeah. then they during the summer, like July and August, it's like like one once a yeah. month. People have vacations and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. No one complains. <laughs> we don't complain. <laughs> we don't complain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a vacation for us. Yeah, really. Um, yeah, but that's uh, that's all basically. We're always looking for volunteers. Yep. Uh, there's a concert at at Han Pond Gosh. next uh, week. Well, not Han Pond. I'm sorry. That's in Woburn. Uh, Martin's say, Pond. Yeah, that's, wow. That's a uh, yeah, it's a drive. It's a hike. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, oh, I got Woburn on the mind. <laughs> what does that say about me? But there's uh, there's one at uh, Martin's Pond. I'm sorry. Next week, and I think we might have one of our own board members uh, looking to cover it. But we always are – we're looking to work with, uh, I think, BCAT TV. I think that's Boxford because they're looking uh, to help out, and they wanted to get involved in more concert stuff because they don't have something around uh, their own place, and they have some interns they want to, you know, break in and, and uh, yeah, get around. There's always something on Wednesday or uh, – yeah, Wednesday nights, uh, Parks and Rec, if you check our – uh, Facebook page, we had an announcement from them, and check our bulletin, because we have a bulletin from them about, like, their schedule for concerts and other stuff happening. And, yeah, check the Farmer's Market stuff. We usually repost them on Facebook. And if you ever want to cover any of that stuff, feel free to let us know. We'll show you and use the camera. If you're already a member, we'll, you know, just go through it and give you our advice as to how best to cover it, possibly. But, you know, it's a, it's a good time for people to take out cameras and just kind of shoot outside, because it's, it's beautiful out today, and uh, we'll probably get um, more down to it uh, as things are getting even slower, and we just, you know, need to do more things. Gives us time to brush up and uh, shoot more stuff. But uh, Jason, any uh, any last words? Nothing. Word? <laughs> <Did> nothing? <laughs> All right. Well, um, you can reach Jason at uh, NorcamJason at gmail dot com. And my elaborate email. You can uh, reach me, Phil Healy, Public Access Coordinator at Phil P H I L dot Healy H E A L Y dot Norcam N O R C A M. That's Phil dot healy dot norcam at gmail.com and you can also check us out on facebook and on youtube mm -hmm. and uh you can check out our channels because i won't recite them now because we never remember them when we have to uh but we're on comcast on verizon and guys take it easy see you on the next episode and if you have any questions feel free to email or call uh that number again 978-664-0501 and if you want to be on let us know too all right take it easy guys. Mm -hmm.